لیکن اس موقع پر مرحوم نے ایک اور بہت بڑا تاریخ ساز کارنامہ انجام دیا انہوں نے اپنی تقریر کا آغاز تلاوت کلام پاک سے کیا یہ پہلا موقع تھا کہ ڈیڑھ سو سے زیادہ ملکوں کی اس عظیم ترین بین الاقوامی تنظیم میں کلام پاک کی گونج انتہائی خوبصورت قیرت کے ساتھ سنائی تھی On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Excellency General Muhammad Zia ul Haq, President of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, and to invite him to address the Assembly. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم بغير حق إلا أن يقولوا ربنا الله لهدمت صوامع وبيع وصلوات ومساجد ومساجد يذكر فيها اسم الله كثيرا ولا بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على خادم النبیین Mr. President, it's a great honor for me and my country that I've been given this opportunity to address this 35th session of the United Nations General Assembly on behalf of the 900 million fellow Muslims in commemoration of such an epoch-making event in human history. I do so with deep humility in response to the mandate heard upon me by the 11th Islamic Conference of Foreign Ministers which Pakistan was privileged to host last May. Speaking as a humble believer, I am particularly conscious of the Islamic injunction to rise above race, color, and creed and to perceive fellow human beings in terms of universal brotherhood. Islam, by its very definition, is a religion of peace and submission to the divine will. It demands of its followers to strive individually as well as collectively for the creation of a human society based on justice, 